Right. Uh, yesterday was the first demo. First Power BI demo, and today is the second Power BI demo. In today's session, I will explain first to 10 minutes recap of yesterday's part. And next 40 minutes, Power BI components, 40 to 50 minutes. Power BI concepts, Power BI self-service BI example, and to end flow. After this class, you need to practice. You need to practice. See the user friendliness interface. Low code operations. Low code operations, etc. Then only take your decision whether you can learn or not. So today's session is very important. Regarding this, I'll give you the video, document, everything. Right. Coming to first demo. First demo documents and videos I placed in this area. This was a folder created for your batch. Twenty fourth April. And this is a checklist for your batch. What I'm going to cover, how long I'm going to cover everything available here. And this is a main folder where you are having first demo. Similarly, you will find second demo. And here you will find the documents. Usually if you provide these documents, those documents I will add it. And this is a practical unit to implement the practical document also I'm placing. So this is the style I follow. Every day you will receive video and relevant documents. Ensure you have access on this folder. Also, you will get YouTube link or YouTube video. In case you miss and still you want to watch, go to YouTube. YouTube level also our videos are available. You can watch in the YouTube level. So go to this YouTube, Unitec. Please remember this. Here you will find it. Next. That is regarding yesterday's demo information. Now, yesterday content, I will give a recap. Yesterday, I explained about my name, my contact number, and this is a call timing. More than 10 people called me yesterday. Even today, five to six people called me, total 15 to 60 members called me regarding career guidance and different sessions. Thank you so much for calling me, even I'm expecting from others. And working as senior lead consultant. Training is basics to advance, so very in detail training. The duration is 60 hours. Daily one hour is a timing. And my one hour equal to for you two to three hours minimum time for practice. Monday to Friday compulsory classes. Monthly to Saturdays we have sessions. And in, on those days you will see live practice. Along with me you will practice. The training is for offline and online both. An institute provide daily video sharing and you will have access for one half year. And a communication through WhatsApp and Gmail. WhatsApp and Gmail only, there are no other communication channels. Theory material you will receive, practical material, and mock interviews will conduct. And SSAS tabular cube, this is a database operation, but multi-dimensional database and tabular dimension, table model dimension database. 
this database topic one hour I will cover. And you need SQL, I will cover SQL knowledge for four hours. SQL is basically to work with the databases in the IT industry, like Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, DB2. Like it's many databases available in the market. If you want to work on it compulsory, one communication language required that is SQL. I'll give you three to four hours. The reason is in the real time, 90% companies maintaining their data in huge volume in the databases. You want to generate a report. Definitely you need data. So the input may be database. 70% chances are there. You work with the database in the company. That does not mean database operations you do, but you need to know how to bring the data, how to show the data, and what's the data displayed, how to reconciliate the data. Like source, these many records available, database side, and Power BI level, these many records loaded. And source level, the total value, database side, this is a value. And Power BI level, this is the value available. The reconciliation, the data validation testing, if you want to do compulsory, SQL language knowledge is required, basic sufficient. There are nine topics, learn nine topics thoroughly, sufficient for you. And I will give you two near real time projects and multiple case studies. These are the batches currently I'm handling and the current slot is five to 6 p.m. Five to six. From tomorrow, regular class at 5 p.m. You can ask me, sir, one hour is sufficient. As I told you, my one hour equal to for you, two to three hours practice. The training object to real time working, interview support, by giving frequent last questions, proper resume preparation, proper guidance. And if anyone preparing certification, PL300 certification, support, help, guidance, but this course cover 80%, 70 to 80%. But I will give you valuable dumps for you so that you can gain more knowledge. 20% dumps and all. And to generate own reports, yes. In what a situation, you want to generate your own reports. You're a senior manager. You don't want to move into pure IT, but you want to learn how to generate reports very quickly because you have lots of data. And you want to analyze yourself. You have some data, you want to validate it. Your subordinates data, you want to validate. Instead of depending on somebody else, you can generate your own reports. And you can try in the market level as a report developer, as a BA developer, business intelligence developer, or a data analyst, business analyst technical side, and data and, and scientist. So these are the rules you can try in the current market. Anybody can learn, any graduate right now, no restriction for the qualification. Earlier, there was restriction, B-Tech graduates required, MC graduates required, or intermediate mathematics is required. Right now, I don't know what was the reason, but after COVID, maximum companies ignored about qualifications, and they're simply looking forward for the people who are interested and passionate about IT with their graduation, couple of companies recruiting undergraduates as well. Undergraduate as well. Next. And Power BI, can I learn easily? You just keep your focus. You can easily learn Power BI because it's a low code component. No need to write much code in Power BI. Only your focus is sufficient if you want to grab very good knowledge in Power BI. So any questions in this area? Yes. It's a big data engineer, no analyst. It's purely technical stuff. I thought secure the job as well. They have big data analyst. Maybe big data and analyst. Maybe dual role. Yeah. So the, the, the question is fine. So do you think it, it makes sense, big data analyst? 
data analyst only data analyst there's no small data analyst and big data analyst means big data analyst how do they fit for that company that's what big data and analyst two different roles so maybe they combine accidentally or some other reason i don't know so for big data how do data lake synapse snowflake these are all helpful and a few years back three four years back it was very hot in the market big data big data operations but now i don't know uh, companies are not focusing much on big data instead of that they are looking for grid environment so data keeping in different areas and handling with the available tools that's where data bricks and many other came into the picture the companies are not looking forward for the single central data storage they they need it for backup kind of operations but especially for analytical analytics statistical operations some other operations they they always expect limited volume of data that too the data presentation should be different so the current market is different right sir uh, as part of classes project environment knowledge i will give you and power bi subject knowledge i will give you and this knowledge will is helpful for you to try in it to work in companies like data warehousing fundamental modeling fundamental agile methodology github versioning to near real time flows multiple case studies and the resume preparation tips faqs mock interviews this all and power bi subject anywhere required so power bi cloud components available on premises available i told you very clearly yesterday what is cloud what is on premise somebody else's storage is cloud knowingly or unknowingly everyone we are using and what is on premise also explain within your company storage within your computer storage within your mobile storage that is on premise and along with this power bi components power platform components power apps for 2 hours power automate for 2 hours i will cover next institution side we provide theory practical material fully practical oriented training and you will be having interaction with me during the class after the class whatsapp and multiple channels resume preparation is common whatsapp group is common and power bi and report developer so less than 5 years this is the these are the combinations available but 90% opportunities in only. 90%. You are a three years guy or four years guy. 90% opportunities power BI plus DAX. So SQL. SQL language to deal with databases, power BI and DAX to generate reports. 90% opportunities. But my course include support operations. My course include admin operations. 95% admin part I will cover. Remaining 5% not possible, so I'm not covering. So this is what I'm covering with respect to Power BI. In other words, depth of Power BI I'm giving here. And you can try in these combinations also. And if you're having knowledge on this, are you interested to add some more components? Yes, go for it. I told you yesterday, fabric is very hot in the market. So learn ADF or Synapse along with Power BI if you have more experience like 10 years experience and you want to shift into IT, you are into sales or some functional uh, functional knowledge, you purely want to shift to IT, then Power BI, SQL and learn either ADF or Synapse. And if you are interested to keep more than five years and you are good in Power BI, then you can try these positions. Highly remunerated positions and more packages you will receive. But by learning, you cannot get compulsory one or two projects End-to-end -end knowledge is required. Without having one or two projects end-to-end -end knowledge, it's not possible to claim as the designations. So, in the case of it, it's not this time, the area, you Yes, sir, I will tell you, sir. So, this is the flow I explained yesterday after my introduction. Data to fabric. We have three types of data, two, two formats of data, 
to storage of data. This can also be called any type of data, any format data, any storage data. I explained very in detail this part yesterday. So I'm moving a little fast. This is just recap. So that I can give fresh part today. The people who joined today, kindly watch yesterday's video to get good understanding. I'll share yesterday's video, today's video, both the videos. Kindly go to yesterday's video and walk through it. Then you'll get complete knowledge on this. Without understanding this, don't start your class. Meaningless, wherever you want to start. Now data, IT applications. I told you many types available, but importantly, transactional and analytical. And the, what are the differences also explained? General public. They use these kind of applications. The data is called transactional data, which is in the cloud or server level. Management team always work on reports. Double minister Andy. Well, similarly, Google have any work to do. But decision making reports or dashboards. But in between this transactional data and decision making data, you will get so you will use Power BI kind of applications. Your Power BI sits here, converting your transactional data into analytical data. Next. What is BI? Business intelligence. Intelligence to the business. Decision making to the business. Analysis of the business. In this area, the input is data. Output is report or dashboard. So you will work on any type of data, any data, any formatted data, finally report or dashboard generated. It take any BA tool, Power BA, MS BA, Azure BA, Tableau, ClickView, any BA tool. Their input is data, output is report or dashboard. So, and what are the differences also I explained yesterday, kindly walk through. For high level, report shows individual operation data, detailed data. Dashboard shows high level data and set of individual operations data. So a specific subject area data is dashboard data. And BA process. I said very simple way, general data or transactional data converted to analytical. But there is a BA process, business intelligence process. One, two, three, four, four layers. Ninth is this process given, very complex process, but still, MNC is used it. Small, medium companies not able to use. So Microsoft decided to give end-to-end -end process in a simple way. That is MSBA. It is a suit where multiple tools are available. Tool 1 for this process. Tool 2 for this process. Tool 3 for this process. But modern operations, modern technology is completely different. And MSB does not have that support because 2005 it was released. The architecture and all before 2004 market. So Microsoft decided why don't we give one more component where it is suitable for modern operations. That is Power BI. It is a single application. Last class I told you, single application where the first concept, Power Query will work here. Power Pivot will work here. Power of view and map work here. So power BI level, these concepts will work in these areas. Don't worry, go to yesterday's video, you will get complete knowledge. And I explain why power BI when MSBO was available. Power BI level cloud support available, on-premises available. It is a self-service BI application to perform 
end to end operations all operations and full support of mobile and tap any type of data power bi can handle power bi reports easily you can place in other areas power bi level less code is sufficient many visuals available many operations available facilities available for modern cutting edge technologies and implementations and on top of it power bi having monthly update continuously tracking it industry what are the changes happening it is grabbing immediately that is a beautiness and the name also indicating power bi some scientists say adding power to the existing bi that is power bi some more scientists saying it's a low code application cloud and on premises support application it is a self service application which will generate reports and dashboards from data if you pass data to power bi it will give you a report or dashboard that is the output but with low code and cloud possible on premises possible self service end to end it will take care of no need to take any other company tool or technology end to end it will it will work on released in 2013 and monthly update we are having no versions in power bi and from july 2013 to till this month we are having update so release year versioning everything i covered here with a given spirit of power bi it was flick like anything the market of power bi is extraordinary you don't believe extraordinary 42% bi projects business intelligence projects now in power bi out of 100 42% with a given spirit of power bi low code microsoft decided to give set of low code components that is power platform 2019 five low code components they given as a single platform and five components five five operations but no company using combination of this so they decided why don't we give current market suitable suit that is fabric microsoft fabric 2023 and what is fabric it is a all in one solution Where data engineers will get benefit, data scientists will get benefit, analysts will get benefit, data citizens can benefit. How? By using these four components. So, fabric is an artificial intelligence suit. Artificial intelligence suit. More AI features. Co-pilot also available everywhere. More artificial intelligence features available. and it is a suit where power bi used for reports and dashboard data factory for data integration synapse for data storage analytics warehouse data science operations and data activator for data monitoring and governance now you are entering into a component called fabric power bi power bi is not alone it is a fabric power bi due to lack of knowledge people say power bi power bi it's not a power bi fabric power bi the support is fabric the account is fabric everything is fabric got clarity the reason is it is having ai features and it is having support to multiple operations so such a wonderful strong beautiful component you are going to love the multiple ways it is suitable the diagrams the descriptions everything from the microsoft websites this is not created by me these are all given by microsoft only after attending multiple seminars at microsoft site multiple meetings joining with the different clients i brought these pictures and showing it to you no picture is created from me and no definition is created by me everything from microsoft is it fine So what is the data model? We will discuss it because it will move to some other model. After finishing this class, I will explain you. Please remind me that in, the, in this class, different types of people are there: beginners to experience and non-IT to IT. Okay. I need to compensate everyone. Don't mind, na? Yes, sir.
So power BI 2013 release, no power BI part of fabric. Got clarity? This is what I given yesterday very clearly. And today, what I'm going to explain is power BI components and all. If anyone not provided, no problem, Pranay. I will provide you yesterday's demo video and document. Kindly go through. Still, you have any questions? I'm giving my contact number. Call me. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, who all absent yesterday? I will provide you demo videos and documents. Go through. And you can call me on my number if you have any queries. So, guys, please provide your contact number and email ID to get demo videos, documents. So yesterday's part, you guys understood. This is what I covered yesterday. And today I will cover this part. Power BI components, Power BI concepts, one example, and TN flow. What are the components Power BI having? So Power BI subject. So what is Power BI? Simple answer. Power BI is a self-service BI, low code application to generate reports and dashboards. For on-premise and cloud. Both reports, dashboards at cloud level on premises level. Simple definition is okay. So we are having components for cloud. We are having components for on premise. Power BI component, first component according to Microsoft, Power BI desktop. <laughs> Second component for the cloud people, cloud service. For what it does, what it does. This component, the name is Power BI Desktop. Three words available. Power, more power added. BI, generate reports. Desktop, GUI area, graphical user interface area. Windows Desktop. What is Windows Desktop? Windows is operating system features. Graphical way you will implement. Graphically, you will implement. Right. But this component is used to develop a report. Why do we require report development? How, sir, it will develop? By using these concepts. Concept 1, concept 2, concept 3, concept 4. Everyone clear? Power be a report develop by using these concepts. Then how do you share to customer? by using cloud. In this URL, you will place it. That is a cloud URL because Microsoft storage you are using. Somebody else storage you are using, so it is a cloud. Google Drive is a cloud. Yesterday you opened Google Drive, it is a cloud. OneDrive is a cloud. And you are keeping your mobile contacts, some other storage area, that is a cloud. So reports stored, reports are managed from here. That means customers will contact the cloud and bring the data. That is second component. So cloud interested people in the market are 95%. They follow this process. But 5% people are there still. On-premises also they are using. They use report server desktop. This is a desktop, this is a desktop. But here RSC is available. Where is the difference? Features are slightly different. And on-premises level, we install our regular DABA regular server we will install we will monitor so your company want reports in your company server level itself then this is to be installed and you need to place it customers will contact your company server and bring the reports so total four components are covered am i right next so what is the first component second component third component Fourth component and fifth component report builder. This is the fifth one. What is this? 
power bi given very advanced concept here modern reporting that is no pages reporting non paginated reporting very advanced then what is paginated reporting present to this word very important word paginated reporting report data divided into multiple pages comma each page holds some number of records and each page is printable example you have 200 records 10 pages required each page 20 records this is pagination or resume in multiple pages and you have some data if it take in multiple pages that is called pagenated reporting and with respect to microsoft it is an outdated feature and not a useful feature but companies asked so microsoft given in 2017 not immediately our ba this is available these are available from 2013 remember the point four years microsoft given this concept 2017 that is a report builder or paginated reporting old style of reporting simply 90 style is paginated reporting and again we are having the same by using report builder got clarity Ignore about the words. Just look at the functionality. What is the greatness here? Now, some people asked, I want to create my own visual. Is it possible? Power BI developer. Own visual creation. You can write code and do it. And I want to place easily the report in Facebook level, Twitter level. Facebook, Twitter, your company blog, website, etc. That is embedding. Seventh component. There is eighth component called gateway. So these are the eight components with respect to Microsoft. Our trainers and our professionals, they, do, they are saying like this is one component, this is one component. No. These are just concepts in the desktop. Components are these eight. Each component having its own functionality. One will help you to develop paginated report. One will help you to develop custom visual. One will help you to keep reports in other area. And conclusion, our BA having eight components and four concepts. These are the four concepts and these are the eight components. Everyone clear? What exactly these concepts will do? One, two, three, four. After this, we'll go for the practice. This is data. Your data. Maybe inside a file, maybe database, maybe warehouse, maybe cube, maybe cloud. Your data available in different places, business data, non-business data. And coming to Power BI desktop, in this area, the first concept, Power Query, which will take the data and transform the data. Like this, extracting data from all sources, combining data, merging data, removing null value, removing duplicate value, keeping row, sorting the data, grouping the data, and data cleaning, all we do in this Power Query area. Extraction transformation, it is a fixed process. First time when you see, you, it, it may look complex, but daily you do the same process, you feel poor after two days. Believe me, after two days you feel poor. You want to construct a house, first time only, complex process. Foundation, pillar, slab, do. But one time if you construct, fixed process. The same way this is fixed in Power BI operations. So you will bring the data, move to Power Query area, do the required operations. Letter Power Pivot, second concept. Here we store the data. 
will establish relationships we will implement calculations we implement security all these operations in the second area we will perform third area the power view map in this area visuals we will take we will take maps filters only visualization part data presentation part once the report is ready with these operations we will move to service as server based on the customer interest cloud or server from here customer will access but in the cloud level different operations will perform server level also different operations will perform only customer will access that is ba data in the classroom you will see multiple case studies in this end to end flow in the real time a report delivered in this way only end to end this is a end to end flow or architecture of power bi end to end flow or architecture of power bi in the cloud or on premises no matter got clarity now i will show you only this area i will take data from one file implement this this and this shall i show and this is a example so this is my family expenses data lockdown time i return some entries food how much money i spent in a day petrol how much money i spent in a day travel internet different amounts this data i want to analyze like this in a particular year and month or a particular year selected what is the total money spent average money spent minimum money spent maximum money spent in the period what are my top spendings what are my bottom spendings in the period and which location more money i spent which location and what are the locations i traveled geographically nearby or far so this kind of report i want to create i told you power bi is helpful and that to power bi desktop only helpful the report development component and it will use concepts the concepts are what i said earlier like with first it will bring the data data not in proper shape compulsory we may need to make it shape and then relationships required if you establish relationships this is relationships area this is shaping area data shaping data shape data relationship if you want to protect your data then security data protection finally visualization presentation this all operation desktop will do if you create one report sufficient that's why i'm telling you pre practice today's example by watching the document sorry going through the document and we are watching the video don't feel trainer is going faster with navigations otherwise how come i give you do you think the cinema trailer will is understandable do you think the cinema trailer is understandable but still we like it and then we go we don't ask any questions for the director or producer right the same with demo also so there will be some speed try to adjust right i will go to power bi desktop what is the document i am going I'm giving i will show you concentrate online people kindly provide your email id and mobile number to get today's demo video and demo document so this example i want to do and i will open the material this is a material i am giving it to you demo example practical steps available spoon feeding way you can implement it. a screen chart what do you mean by extraction transformation modeling relationship what are the visuals we use in the demo level what they do so before that first we need to learn how to install this without installation how to use it don't ask anyone for installation part power bi installation is pretty easy installation 
and configuration very normal configuration first what is this stuff it's a graphical area where we do operations graphically power windows desktop power bi desktop tableau desktop multiple desktops available and power bi desktop is the area where graphical operations more and more we perform that's why I use the word low code application and if you want to download it is free and like free available license available hardware software requirements os windows 8 are above but 10 and above is good 10 level more features you will find and ram minimum 2 gb ram and cpu minimum 2 gigahertz even a layman not purchasing a system with this configuration better than this they are purchasing a minimum 4 gb or 8 gb we are purchasing and os also windows 10 or 11 and cpu speed also better we are maintaining so power bi configuration your system supports nowadays if it is purchased recently five six years ago if you purchase no problem now download base simple google it go to advanced download download it three ways available remaining two ways i will explain you tomorrow and third way only recommend it in the real time remember this if you have a power bi account with Power BI account you download, it's really good. More features you will find it. That I will tell you tomorrow in a regular class because you need account, I will give you account tomorrow so you, you can download. But today, download the free one which is given by the Microsoft. Just download it, click setup, next, next, finish. Don't do any operations. No need to give any additional settings. But before downloading, ensure one more thing. Anyway, these three, okay. What is your system type? 64 bit or 32 bit? Sir, where do you find it? See, so this is your search. I will type here, sysinfo. Sysinfo, enter. Here you will find your system type. The top only. 64 bit processing system. So we need to download the same. So how do you download it? Google it. Howard BI desktop downloading. You just type like this. Click on the first link. Download from Microsoft official website. Microsoft Power Bit desktop download. Before that, interested people, enthusiastic people go through this description. What is the version, which year, which month it was given? What exactly the desktop does? So whatever I said, like getting data, relationships, presenting data, etc. available. And system more requirements available here. What are the operating systems it supports? Installation instructions. After two years, three years, you want to install Power BI, same process. Google it, download it. And this is for 32 bit machine. And this is for 64 bit machine. Okay, with this, everyone? I already downloaded. I'm not downloading again. I already downloaded. Just go to this next, next, finish. In between last few which drive you want to install. Which drive you want to install. Once the installation completed, you will find an icon like this on the desktop. Or the icon. And I, I installed from the cloud account. So I installed through the cloud account. So it is in my taskbar. This is my taskbar. Anyway, fine. So once the installation completed, you will find on the desktop or taskbar, anything is fine. Now click on Power BI desktop. It looks like this. Okay. 
where is the file? Okay, I will click on it. But where is the file? Input file. That input file also I will give you today. Kindly practice. Batches. This is your input file. Family expenses Excel. Please look at this, everyone. This is the input file I'm giving. First two rows, just for knowledge or information about the file. Next one, we are having data. Intentionally, I given. I want to show some, sh I want to show shaping of data. So if you, if you remove this, then only a proper shape. That's the reason I given this. So every day, the amount spent, the reason spent, area spent. And intentionally given area location like this. So, so that we can split the data, area into separate, location to separate, but area separate analysis, location separate analysis. This is not a well-shaped data, data only. We need to make it well-shaped by removing these two and by splitting this. How do we do that in Power BI? I will show you everything. And you'll get data like this only. Right. Open Power BI desktop first. I'm opening. Click on desktop shortcut or taskbar. Anything is fine. Click on it. So new report or open report. Anything is fine. New report or open report, anything is fine. And then sign out options and settings about available. You want to know which version you install, which version you install, who is the user install, everything you want to check, then go to about. You want to create a pretty fresh report, go to home and new report. You want to open existing report, open. I will click new report. I click no report. It is opening like this. Simple window. So in this area, quick save option available. Undo redo available. Undo redo. Title of the application. This is called account. I already connected with account. Power B account. Minimizing, maximizing, closing. And this is called as menu tabs. And right now, set of options available and home is underlined. Menu ribbon. And the left hand side pane, multiple options available. This is report view. Here we take visuals and data. The visuals from here. And this is called visualization pane. Data from here. Data pane. Data set area. A semantic model area. Don't worry. If you do one report, you remember it. Interface, same interface. And this is filter, filter pane, filter options. So report view level, visuals, data, filtering options, all we use. And this is data view. You will see the data. This is a relationship view. Relationship between tables. And recently given one more view, tax view. Tax queries you can write and see. Recently given. So these are the four views. Views to show report. It will show report information. 
it will show data information it will show relationships and this is called canvas report canvas right now page one you can click plus for multiple pages plus for multiple pages mobile suitable operation you want to do click mobile mobile view you want to give many apps nowadays we're downloading they're mobile suitable web is different mobile is different so web and desktop suitable this is web and desktop both you can create and usually you will see a message here called stories mode but i will explain it tomorrow session it takes time so canvas okay and this interface level are you able to see red color green color red green and all in this interface level and all lightweight colors some people say color blind friendly colors what do we call this interface color blind friendly interface here we get the data, we transform the data, we model the data, we secure the data, visualize the data, only BA data you will get. This is the first operation, second operation, third, fourth, fifth. And the first operation we do in this area, second operation we do in this area this or this transformation third operation we do in this area fourth operation we do in this area this is a fifth operation these are five operations we do in this interface so we call this as self-service interface which interface self-service ba interface So this desktop is helpful to perform these five operations. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the greatness is no need to go to any tools, any technologies, any process. One application will do end-to-end -end process. That is Power BI. So you will bring the data here. You will transform here. You will model here. Security here. Visualize you. Online people who all just join, kindly provide your email ID and mobile number to get demo videos and documents. And kindly stay to till 6.15. Sharply 6.15 PM, I will stop the session. Kindly stay to. We'll see a good example. Now, first one, you need to bring the data. How? Click on this. This is an area, Excel workbook, because of data, Excel workbook. If you, it is something else, then you go for it. So click more. This is an Excel workbook. Even directly, you can click. Click on it, Excel workbook. And where is it? It is in my lab backup area. I will give you this file for practice. Click on this open. The window is ready. Click on this box. See the data. This is preview. Preview of data. Load. Download option available. Click on it. So first step, click on this, browse to input Excel. So it is open, autom it is opening automatically. I did not do anything. So the data area automatically open. So it's expanded automatically. And if you want to see the data, go to this data view. This is the data view or table view. This data you see. 
So what I did first, get data. Second, I clicked on it to see this data. It is not in proper shape because we should delete this first operation. We need to make this heading second operation. We need to split the data, third operation. If you do these three operation, it will be in a proper shape. And that comes from transformation. How do we go? In Power BI level, as I told you in this corner, home menu, I clicked on this corner, no problem. Here, transform data available. Because I expanded, I expanded, it came here. What is this? Transform data, click on transform. Why are we going for it? Shaping. So click transform data. It will open a separate window. This is called our query window or transformation window. Data you can make a proper shape by implementing transformations. Once it is done, go to home area. Here, options available. Close means simply it will close. Apply means save the changes. Close and apply means save the changes and close. Depends. With saving, without saving, how do you want to do? So this is the window. First, I will do the operations. Guys, in this corner, there is an option available. You can use this. But before that, what you need to do, identify. The first one record, this you delete it. So that this you can make heading. Can I? So click on this corner, remove top row. So how do you know? It's a, just, just rough practice. So I'm explaining, otherwise slowly you come to know. Click on this corner, remove top row. Mention here one. Okay, the first row removed. The operation available here, if you see this, remove top row. In case you want to cancel, cancel it. It will take back the original. You can click on it. Remove top rows. One. Okay. Now consider this as header. Click on this. Use first row as header. In this corner, first option implemented. In this corner, Second option I'm implementing. Next, go down. See, it's proper. This we need to split into two parts. How? Right click the column, split column. By delimiter. What is the delimiter? Two iPhones. Right click, split column by delimiter. Mention here one more iPhone, two iPhones. Click OK. It will divide into two parts. First part, second part. First part, I will type here area. Second part, I will type here location. Done. Don't worry, the steps are very clear in the material. You can follow. So whatever I decided, three operations, the three completed. So go to home, close and apply. Now the changes, it is saving and closing. Look at the data now in the data view level. How is it looking like? Proper shape. Proper shape. Go to modeling area. Only one table available. No need to give any relationships. If multiple tables available, relationships required. If only one table available, no need of any relationships. Next. And what is the pending one? Security. Even security is not in our current context. That we will see later. Only one pending, fifth one. Visualization, reporting. 
So in today's session, bringing the data, transforming data, re reporting the data only, we plan. Modeling security not plan. But daily in our reports, the one, two, three, four, five, same order only we follow. What all applicable, we will apply. But the order is same. No difference. Daily, one, two, three, four, five, we follow. Now I will go here. Clear my drivings. Now, I want to take visuals. So what I need to take, go to this. First year, month slicing, I will take. Filters. So these five visuals I am going to use. First visible, second visible, third visible, fourth visible, fifth visible. These five visuals I'm going to use. Shall I? Right. First slicer. Click on slicer. Place here. I need year here. Click on this. This one. Date. Date hierarchy. What is this? Place here. Here. So take always a visible first step. Second step. Every visual containing two parts. One, two. This is a data area and this is format area. Color, font, etc. Color, font, style, etc. We operate. Data area level I have taken here. This here drag and drop. Every visual, same process. First click, second field, how to format. Three steps common. Even this visual, one, Two, three. So three, this. Now I will go for it. I don't like this. So click on it. Visual settings. See, this is visual settings. Between available. If you want button format, button. If you want list format, list. I just want list format. Format, okay. Now, Header, this is header, these are values. Header, header, value, value, formation. Just click on it. Bold, I'm taking. I'll take this color. Size is 20 directly, I'm taking. Value, value level, bold, I'm taking. This value, bold. Blue color, I'm taking. And here, 15, I'm taking. Or 18, your wish. Minimize. But I want to take border. These are visual specific. See, slicer. Slicer is a visual filter. So the setting, how you want to show. This is header. This is value. You want border. Just go to general. FX. It's a general setting. Border on. Common setting for all visuals. So the first one is visual specific. Second one is common to all visuals. Okay. Now you feel very ha happy regarding other operations. I want month slicing. Copy paste. Control C. Control V. Happily. I don't want here. Then go to data area. Every visual data, visual area. Two step. Remove this. You want month. Some month. But it is showing all months. I want two months. Then go to filter. In the filter area, take the months. This is a filter. Click on it. June, July. Two months you mentioned. Success. So filter, highlight, visible filter, whatever the months you sell, same months. So how to take a slicing value, how to filter, I explained clearly. So two ready guys, whatever we discuss in this image, these two ready. These four required total average 
max min how do we take single value single value if you want to show don't worry just click on this card card for single value single value card click you cannot keep more values only one value card one i'll take one more card for average i'll take one more card for max i'll take one more card for min dragon from and i want to take total value so this is the amount i told you for every visual one field to format so first field amount drag and drop or tick mark some ready and first i will take fields only letter formation click on this drag and drop amount what it is giving so click on this average see here i don't want some average one don't write any logic just click on this drop down average this is a beauty of power bi maximum reusable concepts available still you don't find it write your logic average ready now i want maximum drag and drop field common click on it max minimum you want select it drag and drop and select minimum next go to this yeah understood right how about i want to format go to formatting area all out value this is color this is category your wish what are the colors you want to tick and i want to take here bold 30 size color blue display auto no none what i'm taking none means no value type not thousand not billion not million but if you want billion sell the billion if you want million million currency whatever the number format you want to take you can take but i'm taking none means no format next decimal value two decimal values i want how many allow to value two decimals category label this label bold take this color 15 yes but the same for even i want to take general effect visual border on normal this simple yeah for this two settings available call out value category label general border i take now i'll minimize it at least five minutes first one but the same setting i need all this how oh, see there is a format painter able to see highlight this format painter click i let this format painter click i let this format painter click done now go here mention here go here mention top go here mention on top just drag if you click 19 19 all values july or june 19 june 19 july 20 july changing 20 expenses 19 expenses simple to do but i want to see my top and bottom spendings bar chart i will take see this chart for comparison click on it so undo because over blank area blank area bar chart y axis this is y axis this is x axis your wish anything you can take anywhere the presentation only changes but not business values presentation only changes but not business values now y axis level i want here drag and drop here into y x axis i want to take amount amount you take here ready we got two years available two years maybe here one more month i will take month level 
slice and August month also will take because more values in August month. No problem. Uh, not here actually in this. I want to find out reason, take reason. So what I did first, select this. Next, y axis level here, x axis level reason. Sum of amount, not here, sorry. y axis level reason, x axis level, sum of amount. So this is reason, food, travel, etc. And these are amounts. These two are top, these three are bottom. Let me explore bigger and see everyone. Y axis, reason, X axis, amount. So amount, reason, top three, bottom three, food highest, travel second highest, lowest petrol, second lowest, or above petrol, books. Keep cursor here, food value, travel value, internet value, petrol value, books value. This is bar chart. I will go to this general effects border on. I will take pie chart. Click pie chart. This is for percentages. I will take location here, amount here. Location, amount. See here. Hyderabad location 40%, Vizivada location 15%, and Vishakpattam. So if you want percentages, go to pie chart. If you want comparison, bar comparison, stacked bar. Two different charts. Go to this general FX border on, normal. I want to see the traveled locations. Click on map. Very simple. This is a map visible. Go to location in the location area. Select the map location in location area. It is showing the locations. These are the locations I traveled. It is showing. And I want to show amount spending. Come down bubble size. Bubble size amount. Wherever I spent more money, bigger bubble. Wherever I spent less money, small bubble. Go back. For this also, general effect border on. Now if you click 20, 20 locations I traveled an amount, 20 locations only, 20 reasons, 20 spending. 19, say 19 locations, 19 locations travel, 19 spending comparison, and 19 values. 19 August. See, it is changing. These are changing. So in this way, customers will take decisions by slicing. Not only this, even they click on this, automatically change other areas. Even if they click on it, automatically change other. This is the beauty of Power BI. Well, however they want to analyze, they can analyze. This is called cross filtering, cross highlighting. One is visual filtering. If you select it, respect to data. Second one, even visual you click, other visuals will change. One visual you click, other visuals will change. This beautiness you will not find in all reporting tools. Only two reporting tools will do this, not all. And one among them, the best is Power BI. Fully user friendly. And now you need to save it. File menu save how are we saving here please save see this file menu save i'm saving under some folder 7 pm name when i take demo report what is extension pbx guys what documents you save with davos doc cy cy x excel documents you save with dot xlsx power bi documents you save with pbx so whatever right now you are saving file menu save that is a power bi document saving 
not a report. Click save. It's a document saving, not report saving. Why, sir? You have extraction part, transformation part, modeling part, query part, security part, visualization part. So it's a document. But customers don't require all these areas. They require only this area. How do you share it? If you want to share only this area to customer, keep into service, power be a cloud. Keep into server, power be a cloud. Then customers will contact service or server and bring the data. That we will see in the regular class. So desktop is only for report creation, yes. But if you want to share the report for the customers, service or server compulsory. Otherwise, anybody can download and generate a report. Okay? Right, sir. So this is the way we will develop a Power BI document. You want to see the extension? See this. Only one minute. It's done. I saved under 9 a.m. Power BI demo report. Where is that one? Where is the place? Not in this. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Demo report. How is it saved? Document. Correct? That's it. So whatever I plan today, use downloading this, installing, using this to generate a report, successfully completed. I am providing material and all the required stuff, kindly go through it and follow it. As I said, I committed to this content in the next two months. Whatever I said. And the checklist and all available in your drive level, kindly walk through. So this is your 5 p.m. Your video is available. Checklist is this. Go through this. You will see the content. So this is the way every day, strict timing, 5 to 6 p.m. only I will take every day because after 6, I have one more class. I have to stop by 6. Sharp 6 o'clock, I will sharp every day and regular class from tomorrow. You practice today's example, feel comfortable and join from tomorrow onwards. Definitely, I will give you the content which is suitable for interview and working perspective, no doubt. Confidently, you can choose our institute with respect to subject knowledge. As a trainer, I can say, I'm one of the best trainers in the market. So you can multiple demos if you're interested, or else kind of friendly choice. But the content, whatever I'm covering, and maximum people, they don't cover. And verify the content of other institutions. So different types of content, which is suitable for real time, working perspective I'm covering, including real time. That's the reason we have huge success in the market. No publicity, nothing. Still, we get good amount of people here. Not normal. Very good amount of people. Only mouth talk and references. 